I'm here with my two buddies uh, in the airlock. Actually, these are two spacesuits uh, that are ready, primed up to go outside, as we call it, to go do a spacewalk in case we have to do anything outside. Some of the things we do outside are just like inside repairs. We have a lot of um, electrical boxes and machinery and solar arrays, in fact, that I talked about earlier, that are outside, and sometimes they don't work quite right. Um, remember, space is really cold and really hot, and it's also the vacuum of space with no pressure and so some of the equipment doesn't work well all the time. So we might have to go out and do a spacewalk. Right behind me is actually the hatch that you go out into space. And right now we have it filled up with a couple other spacesuits because we've got four of them up here uh, and some of our tools. But right behind here is the hatch in which you actually go right outside into the vacuum of space. The spacesuit is pretty big, as you can see. It's like being a football player. Um, part of the reason it's so big and bulky is because of this backside, this backpack. It's like going on a hike with a backpack, but the backpack and the suit weighs about 300 pounds. Luckily, in space, nothing really weighs anything, so you don't feel that it's so heavy. But we need to have such a big suit because that guy back there is essentially um, the, the heart of the spacecraft. This, I call this actually a spacecraft. It has all the oxygen for you. It has all the carbon dioxide removal system for you. It also has a heating and cooling system to make sure to regulate our body temperatures while we're outside. It also has a computer. So it tells you on a display here if there's anything that's going wrong with the suit, if we're running out of oxygen, if we have too much carbon dioxide, um, or any type of electrical problem. So it's a pretty awesome little spacecraft and uh, actually got to go out, use my spacecraft, little spacecraft a couple times and it worked like a charm. Uh, lucky that it works very nice. You might want to see what the helmet looks like. It's pretty cool too. We don't usually go out like this, so you usually can see when the helmet's open. So you can see what it looks like inside. Somebody's little head would be inside of here. So you can see, you can turn your head all the way around while you're inside of there, but the helmet stays still. So that's uh, determines your, your, how far you could see. And uh, it's usually pretty sunny out there, so we have to wear our sunglasses. And this is our sunglasses right here, which make you look pretty cool.